Hey guys, welcome to my page, DIY Crafts with Dar. Happy Thursday. How are you guys? Um, how's everybody doing? How's your week going? Hopefully good. Mine is flying by. <laughs> I can't believe that I leave in the morning to go to Phoenix. So um, yeah, I get to go see my my um, son and his family, my little grandbabies tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> So, you would not believe, though, um, it used to be really inexpensive to fly from here to Phoenix. You would not believe it was almost $300. Oh, can you believe that? You used to could get $69 or $99 airfare from San Diego to Phoenix. Not this time. <laughs> not this time. So, anyways, oh, my eyes are still sleepy. Sorry, guys been working so hard. Um, we're going to do the cute, a cute little Highland cow winter sign. I know it's hard to see, but he's a little cutie pie. So he has on a little winter cap and it says snow place like the farm. So, um, and little snowflakes around him, um, it's going to be so cute. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to, this is about, I think it's about 11 inches, 10, 11 inches. I thought I brought in, no, I didn't. I thought I brought in the little hanger to show you how to hang it on it. Where did I put that? Hmm, you know. Anyways, the, uh, this one can hang on the little the little stand that sits on your table, um, on your counter. Anyways, yeah, I, I swear I grabbed it. Maybe I meant to and I walked past it last night. Anyways. It's going to be so cute. So thanks for joining me this morning. Hope you're having a great week. If you're out there watching, just say hello. If You'll know that, you're, that I'm live if you see the red live button. If you don't see that, then you're on the replay. And just go ahead and put hashtag replay. So um, let me get my glasses clean. <laughs> I have a great big thing of fur on, on my shirt. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, little fur ball. Anyways. Um, black always gathers all that stuff, doesn't it? Let me make sure that I'm live because, you know, it can happen that I'm not. And let me share that over to VIP group. Put my volume down. How is everybody? Happy Thursday. I know. Um, yeah, it's been a fast week. It will be over before we know it. So I have lots of paperwork this morning. And then I have a lot of orders to get out. So you guys have purchased some things and... Um, I'll get everything out today, I promise. <laughs> Even if I have to take it to the post office because I don't want anything sitting on my desk um, waiting for me when I get back. I want everything out, 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 out. So let's see, back to, there we go. All right, guys. Okay, let me see who's here. Just say hello so I know that you're there. I know sometimes Facebook has not been great about sharing this over. Maybe I need to share it to a couple more places. I don't know. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can do that. Where else can I share that with? Um, yeah, um, there and there. Okay. All right. Perfect. And how about, how about to my personal page? I always like doing that once in a while. Once in a blue moon, I'll do that. I'll share it to my personal page um, because, you know, I just, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> it doesn't hurt to do that once in a while. Not all the time. You don't want to spam your friends because, you know, your friends are, your friends see all this. So sometimes they like it though. Sometimes my friends, my friends are crafty. <laughs> so, they, so they actually like it. Okay, there we go. All right, now back to this, back to this. <sighs> I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. There we are. There we are. Okay. Okay, guys. Let me see who's here. Hi, Tony. How are you? Hi, Bridget. Good morning. Hi, Deb. My sister. Hi, Darlene Barr. Hi, Doris. My sister. Hi, Betty. Hi, Carrie. Good morning, guys. So there's, there's a few on here. <laughs> I know. Sometimes. Sometimes it just doesn't does not um, pop up in people's feeds, honestly. And I do my little my my little texting thing and sometimes it doesn't go out too. Um I so there was one day when it completely failed and I was like, no. <laughs> Thanks for sprinkling guys. Hi Deborah. 
How are you? Hi, Monique. Hi, Laura. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> I can see a bunch of people on. Um, just say hello so I know you're there. Hi, Sarah. Hi, April. I love this little guy. He is so cute. So little little Highland cow. He has on a um, little, little winter hat and there's snowflakes here. So we're going to do this. Here's our color scheme. So um, the background's going to be a light blue. It's going to be spa blue. Okay, so spa blue. And then the hat is going to be red and and blue. So open water and um, what color? Country red. Okay, so the hat is going to be that. This part will be white. The snowflakes will be white. Um, the words will be white. I think I should put shimmer on them, don't you? I think I should grab shimmer out of here and do... I always like to do shimmer on those things if I can find it. <laughs> if I can find it quickly. Um, there we go. Okay, so we'll do shimmer on our, on our snowflakes. Okay, and then the Highland Cow is going to be a bunch of different colors. Okay, so um, the muzzle is... Did I do that right? Let me see. Maybe I need a different color for the muzzle. Let me just look over here and see if I have a different color that would be better. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Um, you know, I had I had burlap out, but I'm kind of going back and forth. Maybe burlap is fine for, for the muzzle. So it's like a light tan for the muzzle. And then the cow himself is different colors. So he's going to be burnt sienna. And then the fur is going to be a bunch of other colors. I also need another one over here. I need to have um, honey brown. Okay, so so the, the strokes of the hair is going to be a bunch of colors. So, yeah, well, that'll be interesting to do. <laughs> so, um, hi, Elizabeth. Hi, April. Hi, Chris. Hi, Karen West. Oh, Sarah said another inch of snow last night and the fog has set in. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Karen West. Um, April says she painted the winter ladder blocks last night. Oh, fun. Yeah. So we're going to be doing some winter things too. So we have winter, we have Valentine's. Um, we're going to be going back and forth on things. Okay. So let me get my board in here and we'll get this going. It's going to be so cute. I know there's there's a lot of snowman things that are perfect for winter you know we don't have to just do valentines and I haven't thought about um, um, St. Patrick's yet <laughs> I haven't really thought about St. Patrick's yet okay so let's take this little guy apart all right so oh and let me put myself up in the corner hope you all are having a great day I know I'm having, I have had a good day so far. Yep, if I can get this to work. <laughs> there we go. Hello, I'm here. All right, so let's dissect this. Here's all the little snowflakes. Let's put all the little snowflakes down here. All the stuff that's white can go down on the bottom. I actually need, I need new tape. Let me just put new tape for the, for the words. I'm telling you, I should have put new tape for all of this. So what I do, guys, is I just take masking tape. Some people take blue painter's tape. Whatever tape you want to use is absolutely fine. Let me just go out a little bit so you can see everything. And I'll scooch that up just a little bit. Okay, so I have a piece of tape rolled up in the center. Um, thanks, Linda. I love the cow, too. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Carol. <laughs> April, you got about an inch of snow yesterday, but it mostly melted. Yeah, you know, sometimes it just does. It melts really fast. Um, Sarah loves them. I love snowmen, too. I think they are just so much fun to decorate with. So if you have snowmen in with your Christmas stuff, leave the snowmen out. And <laughs> let's, keep, let's keep using them for a little while. You don't have to put those away. All right, there's that. I think maybe we should redo this one, too. All the others will probably be okay, but we really want to have at least a couple of rows that are going to stick for us. So I just take the tape and I just pull a long piece out and then I turn the ends under. So I just turn the ends under, get one end under, get the center, and then get your other end 
the right length and there you go. Okay, so that will hold your items down so that they're not moving all around. Okay, that's why I put it on here. So I'm not having to hold it with my fingers. Um, I'm messy enough. <laughs> I don't need to have it all over my fingers. Okay, let's get all of these letters down here. These are all going to be white. And we will also put some shimmer on all of the white stuff. Do you think we should put shimmer on the words or just on the snowflakes? Maybe just on the snowflakes, right? Um, yeah, maybe just on the snowflakes. I'm thinking. Yeah, probably. Probably so that not everything is shimmery. Okay, so there's that. Let's keep taking them apart. There's his muzzle. There's his little um, chest hair. <laughs> there's his little hair that comb over hair. Maybe we should do that one too. That one's kind of kind of weeny too. All right. I should have done the whole board. You get excited that you might get a half an inch. That's awesome though. <laughs> I love a little bit of snow. Um, Karen, Karen Ross says, no snow in Michigan, only rain. Oh my goodness. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> Good morning. Um, I know, I love, I love cows. Okay, come on. I tell ya. <laughs> Some days are like that. Some days are just a little more challenging. But it's okay. All right, so here, here's his hair, the comb over part. Here's the top of his hat. And then we have this part that is the white trim and then the very top pom-pom of the hat. And then here is our cow. We'll probably take him off to do a lot of his stuff, but we can at least get him base coated. Maybe we should switch places so that he's over here closer to me. And then this can go at the top. Okay, so let's just start painting. Um, this part here is going to be a light blue. Okay, this, this is going to move. So this is white also. Let's put this down here. Okay, let's move this too. <laughs> okay, so so light blue. So here's the colors. Um, Carrie Seam in, in Wisconsin. Just rain, no real snow. That's kind of nice though. Um, <laughs> it, it, you need the moisture, which is great. So you're getting the rain. But, um, you know, the snow stays and it's a pain in the butt to drive in sometimes. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Hi, Cheryl. I was just seeing who hopped on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, oh, April um, got about an inch of snow yesterday, but it's mostly melted. And um, all right, guys. Well, I hope you're all staying safe and having fun. <laughs> Hopefully, you're able to take some time off. I did not take time off yesterday. I did take a nap during the day. I was a little tired, so I let myself lay down and take a nap because nobody was here. <laughs> but me and the puppies. So they, oh, I have to tell you about something that was so scary last night. Let's get started though. Okay, so spa blue is the color for the background. So I'll put this on here. So I have, I have chocolate chips that I can have. Okay, so that I'll make chocolate chip cookies. Sometimes I'll make fudge. I don't get them very often. Okay, so there's certain brand that they make the lecithin in it out of sunflower oil. Okay, so sunflower lecithin. So the other brands all have soy lecithin, and I'm allergic to that. I It makes my throat swell. So I have one brand of chocolate chips that I can have that I can make chocolate chip cookies with. And I don't make chocolate chip cookies very often because... For me, I have to grind my flour. It's a lot of work and my husband doesn't eat them. So I don't want to have a whole bunch of them. So once in a while, I'll just open up a package of chocolate chips and have a little small handful of them. And um, then I'll put I'll put the, bat, or the rest of it, um, keep the bag in the freezer. So that's what I did last night. I had my dinner and I was like, I just want a little snack. And so I opened up a bag of chocolate chips. I put some onto a napkin and I went back to do some of my bookkeeping because I still needed to get some stuff done for that. And I'm sitting there and I needed to get up and do something. And oh my goodness, I look over and um, Chloe had hopped up and ate some of them. And I freaked out because dogs are not supposed to have chocolate. I freaked out. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to kill my dog by letting her, by being negligent, 
and leaving that out. She doesn't jump up onto my desk very often, but um, once in a while I'll catch her trying to eat my oatmeal or drink my coffee. I freaked out. I tried to get them out of her mouth and I knew that she only had like four or five chips because there weren't very many on there. I only had maybe 12 chocolate chips on the napkin, but I was freaking out because my little Chloe and, and the other thing that I'm thinking is my husband is going to be so mad at me if something happens to her because she, he just loves that dog. He, I mean, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not a good, a good thing. He's just, he's just so in love with the dog. So I was freaking out because she had chocolate and I'm like, she's going to die. So I immediately call my granddaughter, who's a vet tech. And I was like, Haley, 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 what do I do? <laughs> and I said, do I take her to the vet right now? And um, she's like, well, call the emergency um, vet office. And she, she gave me the phone number. She had it in her phone. And so I called over there. Okay, this color is going to be open water. And meanwhile, um, Chloe's just looking at me like she knew she did wrong. She knew that she did something wrong. And I'm just I'm freaking out because dogs are, are not supposed to have chocolate. But I also know that milk chocolate is, the, is not as bad as dark chocolate. And this was milk chocolate. And I knew that she only had four or five chocolate chips. So I call because I'm all ready to get the hydrogen peroxide and make her throw it up. And I'm thinking, is that going to do more harm? Um, and I didn't know exactly how much to give her. I had already asked Siri to tell me how to make my dog throw up. And they had, they had given me the little formula for, for hydrogen peroxide per pound. And I was like, oh my gosh, do I actually need to do this? So I got a hold immediately the emergency um, office. They, they answered, which I was surprised because a lot of times you're on hold with those places. Okay, so that was open water. We're gonna do um we're gonna do all this stuff. Let's do all our white. Let's do let's get this base coated. This is gonna be base coated with um honey brown. It actually really is. So um I I was I was freaking out because I thought that I killed my dog. Okay, the hair part's gonna be honey brown. The background on this, on the um oh guess what? I did I I did this the wrong color. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go back and do this white so let me do this is supposed to be open water sorry guys sorry guys okay so I'm I'm into telling my story let me go ahead and dry this so that I can do this white when it gets when I get to that so I'm thinking I killed my dog anyway so they answer and they said did you do the calc did you go online and and do the Merck calculator I'm like what is that I don't know what that is <laughs> And I'm just panicking a little bit, you know, trying trying to stay calm, but I know that time is of the essence and that if I need to make her throw up, I need to do it right then. And he, so he had me tell him her weight, the weight of the dog, the, the type of chocolate, and how many ounces. And he put it into the little calculator and said, you're fine. It's not going to be toxic for her. And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was so grateful that um, because I was so afraid. I was like, oh my gosh, I killed my dog. <laughs> you know, because they're not supposed to have chocolate. So then I'm feeling bad that I'm like, I'm never ever going to have that out here again. Because uh, maybe I'll have to have it in a little um, Tupperware container. Okay, so this is... This is honey brown. We're going to do this part, base coat in honey brown. And then we're going to, this is the part, um, the hair that we're going to do all different colors to make it look like the different hair colors. So this one's going to be, this is going to be many, many colors before it's all done. So hi, Wanda. How are you? I know, I was, I know, Tony, I was freaking out because my little Chloe I was just thinking, oh my gosh, she's going to be so sick. So he told me that, just watch out. She might have some diarrhea from eating the chocolate. And um, just watch out. But put, I give her chicken and rice. I'm like, oh, she'll love that. <laughs> she's she's going to get she's going to get rewarded for, for eating the um, eating the the chocolate. Oh my gosh. But anyways, yeah, she didn't get very much. There was only like 12 chocolate chips there. I don't, you know, I'm like a little tiny, little tiny handful, like a hundred calories of it. <laughs> so I'm glad, I'm glad that I limit myself. 
Anyways, okay, so the muzzle part is going to be burlap, and I want to be careful that I don't get it down into the little holes. So we're gonna we're gonna put some in here and use a little sponge brush. It is really scary for sure. I'm gonna border collie eat almost a whole bag of, of kisses while you were on your um oh your son left them on the coffee table. She never even got sick. Oh my gosh, really? Wow. You know, some dogs, some dogs it might not affect. <laughs> a smaller dog you have to really worry about. But um but anyways, <clears throat> so there is a calculator online that will tell you the toxicity of chocolate for your animal to tell you if you need to do something, if you need to induce vomiting. So, so I was really grateful I didn't have to do that and force, force it down her throat. But having hydrogen peroxide on hand is great. Um, I don't think I have syrup of Epicap, but um, hydrogen peroxide is what they usually use. Um, grapes are very toxic too. Yes, they are for sure. I know that you would think that. You wouldn't think they were. So, um, hi, Lori Walsh. How are you? I know. I love cows. <laughs> this one is so cute. Okay, so so this was um, what I say it was. It is burlap. And this is going to be burnt sienna. So, the whole background of the cow is burnt sienna. Of course, it's not open. Of course, it's not. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, let me use my teeth. Sorry guys, but sometimes, sometimes you just gotta do it. It gets to do it. So little Chloe, she just looked at me all night like she knew she did wrong. She knew she did. Okay, you don't have to do all of it. Okay, so um, the the hat's gonna be up here. The the comb over is gonna be here, but um, you're gonna do the background. So the ears need to be done the face but I will use I'll just use a brush um, to try to get around that you don't want the eyeball to be done you want that to kind of show just like that there we go so tomorrow um what I hope to do is I hope to have a video pre-recorded I hope I hope I have time to do that because I'll be leaving early you guys um, <laughs> I am taking an Uber in the morning to the airport to fly over to Phoenix instead of driving the six hours by myself and six hours back because that was really silly. I thought that's a lot of gas too. So I'll be taking an Uber to Phoenix and then taking an Uber to my son's house. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm, you know, it's going to be a little bit scary for me in a way. Um, but I'm a tough person, so I have to get in my Uber at 4.30 in the morning and head to the airport. Yeah, that's a little scary for me. It's pretty early. I need to, I, my, my flight leaves at 6.30, so I have to be there super duper early. I'm only having a carry-on because I'm just being there for one night. Okay, we need lots of white. We're going to put white in here. <laughs> All right, we're just going to stick it right in here. And then we will do shimmer on the snowflakes. So white. We'll go back and we are gonna do we're gonna do some highlighting on the edges of the of the this part. Oh, this needs to be white too. Yeah, you remind me to do that. Okay, need to get another brush out. I didn't have enough out. There's another brush. Okay. All right, so and that one, the edge, sometimes the edges of these, I have to cut them off. I just cut off the edge if it's hard. You know, it has paint in it. <laughs> so what do you guys have going on today? Anything? Anyone doing anything fun? Anyone at all? I'm just working. <laughs> so I'm going to be getting your orders out. There's a few orders that people um, placed. And I have a bunch of new stuff over in the Shopify website. I have lots of Valentine's stuff. This little guy is over there already. And um, so, so if you go there, you can sort it and go and choose to just bring up all the new stuff so you can see the new stuff that I brought, that I put in there. Or you can just go to, like he's in the winter one. So the winter slash, the Christmas slash winter section, and then there's a Valentine section. So you can see all of that stuff. So these are all over there. I will be making sure that any order that's placed today is going to go out 
even if I have to have it, like if it gets placed after the postman gets here, I'll just make sure it's out there um, for him for tomorrow. I'll make sure everything gets out because I'll be gone tomorrow and I'll be coming back Saturday, but we're coming back pretty late. So Saturday, I'll probably have to do a pre-recorded video too. Um, we're going to get back pretty late and we're going straight to, as far as late, I mean like in the afternoon, late in the afternoon, um, we're going straight to my son's, my son-in-law's birthday party. So it's his birthday tomorrow. So we're going to have um, a birthday party at, um, where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> We're we're going we're going to a restaurant. <laughs> which one? I can't remember which one they decided. Anyways, we're going there, <laughs> and so we're meeting up with them right after we get back. We're gonna be driving straight back from Phoenix. Darlene will be sleeping. I'll be catching up on some sleep. I I I'll, I tend to do that when when I am the passenger. It's hard for me to stay awake. And my husband's car is really comfy. Okay, got everything base coated. I love this. I think I want a second coat on here. Do I want a second coat? Actually, it looks pretty good the way it is. But I do, I think I do want a second coat. Um, let me do this. Let me just put some of this in here. So let me see. Oh, it's not scrolling up. Um, oh, something is going across my screen. <laughs> what was that? Um... Okay. <laughs> All right. I got a message. I will I will discuss that in a little bit. So, um All righty. Let me get this finished. Second coat. Okay, so this is Burnt sienna. <laughs> All right. So, oopsie, there's a little bit in there. All right, guys. This little guy is going to be so cute for your winter, like a little winter area. So I, what I would do is I would start a little winter area with all your snowman. Grab all of your snowman. Don't put them away with all of your um, Christmas stuff. And... Um, just make a little area with that and then start one with your um, Valentine's. Start, start start two sections. Have a Valentine's and have a little winter. Okay, let me dry that really quickly. And we are going to start doing the fur. So we're going to do the hair. All right. I get so many messages. That one was actually an important message. So, um, anyways, guys, I will get back with that person after I'm done. But um, I do have, guys, you know, it's it's hard out there for people with business. And, um, you know, things things are going to be changing with my business. I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing new stuff. I am not leaving Chaka Tour. There's a lot of people that sent me messages. Are you leaving? No, I love Chaka Tour. There's a lot of stuff going on with people that are leaving. And for me, I really, I, I love the people. I love the product. There are some things that um, I feel like would be um, good changes. And sometimes I voice my opinion. <laughs> and, so, and sometimes I... Um, sometimes I just feel like I need to be the voice of others. So yeah, sometimes Darlene, sometimes Darlene says more than she should. So anyways, um, you know, I love you guys. I love being on here. I will not change that. So I'm going to still continue to come on here every day. Um, there might be changes in some things that I do. I kind of want to branch out and do a few more other fun things. I would love to do like one day a week, maybe do something like either do something from the thrift store makeover or do a Dollar Tree makeover. And whether I use Chalk and Tour on it or I paint it, um, it wouldn't really matter either way. So 
Um, I think that that would be great to be able to just throw some other things in there because, you know, we get stuck in the same old routine and it's fun to do, it's fun to do a variety. Okay, so let's get some colors out here. We're, this is the base color for the hair. So I need to have some other colors. I need to have some of this color. I have some right here. I don't want to get crazy with this. <laughs> I don't want to have too many colors. Um, I think that I need to have that color. And then I think some of the same color that the muzzle and then maybe a dark brown. And then I'll just put some, um, some strokes like going down, you know, some wispy strokes. And we'll see how it goes. And then I might have to add back, I might have to add back some honey brown because sometimes I get carried away with that. But um, this is the part where people go, I don't know if I can do that part. Um, makeovers, makeovers would be fun to say. Yeah, makeovers of of items from the Dollar Tree or, or I'm sorry, from the thrift store. Yeah. Um, what about, what about if we do like once a month, we do, or maybe twice a month, we can do a mystery box where somebody sends me items and I open it and I create right then. And I have to, I have to use everything that's in there. Um, that would be kind of fun. So are there things that you guys want to learn how to do that I can help you with? I mean, I can, I can teach you how to sew. I, I can't really teach you a ton of things. <laughs> <laughs> but I can teach you quite a few things. I I definitely know how to sew. Um, okay, I'm going to just start doing some strokes. And then... Okay. We're just going to keep adding. Okay, so I'm just doing quick downward strokes. Um, I... I'm going to get like a few in there and then I'm going to go to my next color and I'll probably just be going back and forth and using the same paintbrush. Okay. So that is the easy thing to do, <laughs> right? You know what? I'm really worried about these letters down here because I get a little out of control. So I'm going to, for the safety of those letters, I'm going to move them. All right. So I, this is a little tiny brush. A small brush and if you want to use there are little wispy brushes I don't know where mine is at I am just gonna go downward and just get some hair like um, pattern on there okay now I'm gonna to go to my next color I'm just gonna pick up some of this I don't think I need a lot okay so and you'll start to see it take shape and then we will do be doing some inking um, and I, I'm going to text that person back in a moment, um, and see when, <laughs> when I can call them, I'll text them in a moment and let them know I am doing my live. I can get with them after that. It's a pretty important phone call. Okay. All right. So, um, brown. So the, the light color was burlap and then the dark color is dark chocolate. So you just want to get some strokes of color in there going down. You don't want it to be too messy. And there's a point where you just say, okay, stop. <laughs> okay. It looks good. So I'm just doing little quick, little hair like um, strokes downward. Okay. And then I might have to throw back in some of the base color um, just to make it look right. Okay, so my base color was my golden brown. So let's throw some of that back in there. And then we're probably going to call it good. I think, look at it. <laughs> I think it's looking good. Okay, let's do that. Let's call it good. And then we're going to ink around the outsides of things. And we're going to also highlight some of the some of the dark blue. Okay, so I have my whites here. Mystery box would be a lot of fun. Yeah, mystery box would be fun. So um, when is ChopCon? ChopCon is um, in June. ChopCon's in June. I don't know the exact date. I'll find out. I'll find out for you. That's in June. Um, leadership is in January. Yeah, burlap is the color of the face. Burlap is the face. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? Okay, let me just quickly text this person. I'm doing my Facebook Live. I'll, I'll text you when I'm done. Um, let's see. 
Yes, that would be perfect. I am doing my Facebook Live at the moment. This afternoon would be perfect. Anytime I'm available. Oops. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, so there we go. Okay, just didn't want them thinking I'm ignored, but I am I am on um, Pacific time, so <laughs> it is kind of early. All right, so here we go, guys. Um, we're going to do, we did, oh, we already did that, so I don't need to do that. I did um, Shimmer Frost on my snowflakes. If you don't have Shimmer Frost, it is a great thing to have. Even if you are not a chocolate tour person, it is just great to use because that's how we dry. You know when you put glitter on things and you use the glitter glue and it is like all gooey? Yeah, that's already dry. Okay, so here's what I wanna do, guys, is I want to assemble it and then we'll do our inking on it. We'll take it apart again. I always like to look at it and go, do I need something else? Guess what? I do. <laughs> I do need something else. Guess what? This needs to be red. All right. So the hat needs to be red. I just looked at that and was like, where's my red? My red's not on there yet. So um, yeah, this part needs to be red. And um, I am going to just plop some on there. Darlene. <laughs> Darlene, Darlene, Darlene. All righty. Here we go. Let me do this. Um, grab my brush and... Um, I am going to just, we, we usually have to put two coats when we're doing red, okay? So normally we have to put two coats. I'm going to be really careful so I don't go down by the ears. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I'm like, oh yeah, I totally forgot that. See, that's when you notice. When, <laughs> so, so you're starting to put it together and you're like, oh yeah, I totally forgot that. All right, so that is, that is red. Um, I know the light blue is great. So the light blue is... Um, spa blue. Spa blue. That's a great blue. It's a great winter blue. I love it. Cricket would be fun. Simple sewing. Dollar Tree makeovers. Love thrifting and making stuff. Mystery box sewing. Crochet. Yes. Yes. I I don't know if I can teach you crochet, but um, maybe. Oh, you know what? Those great big crochet blankets that are the ones that you do with your hands. I would love to learn how to do that. Does anybody else know how to do that? Does anybody else want to be a guest on my page? You totally can. If you want to teach something, I, I would love to have um, other people. If you have a skill that you want to teach, send me a message. <laughs> I would love for you to do a little Facebook Live on my page. Um, even if you don't, even if you don't do Facebook Lives, um, we could, I can help you. I can help you do that. I can help you figure it out. If you want to teach something, that would be great to learn. So, yeah, I'm just looking at, you know, we need to broaden, broaden our, um, our horizon. We need to broaden what we do. We need to change up things because sometimes you just get stuck in that rut and I'm like, I want to do other things. Crochet. Yeah, I, I used to crochet a lot, you know, back in the day I used to make little baby dolls. Well, their clothes. I used to make their clothes, not the dolls themselves. <laughs> Yeah, it's, there's so many things. So, um, okay, let me respond back. Let me just respond back to this. Um, okay, yes, yes, either one. Sorry, it is actually a very important person. <laughs> so, um, all right, there we go. All right, perfect. Okay, guys, now let's try to do this. Let's try to do this, guys. This is going to be so cute. I can't wait to see it. If you want to do different colors on here, um, there is some shading on here. I think we'll do our shading with our ink pad, though. So let's just put it together. Let's see what we need to do and um, see if we need to touch anything up because maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't paint something that needed to be painted. Um, so let me just get this little guy put together and we'll take a look and see. Okay, so I did not go up far enough right there. Um, let me just touch that up. This is where this all comes into play, <laughs> where you're like, oops, oops, I missed that. 
All right, so I'm just gonna stick it right on top of there. And then there's, here's the muscle. And you can still see the scoring. So you can see exactly where everything needs to be. The scoring is still there. There is not scoring for this. Okay, so there's not scoring for that. All right, so let's get the, let's get the words on. I did kind of move things around because I was worried about touching everything or touching the letters. So I kind of just moved stuff around. Snow place. All right. Like snow place like the farm. I think that's cute. There's snow place like the farm. Yeah. There we go. All right. How fun is this? This little guy is adorable. Okay. So the snowflakes, they, they have like an edge to them. So you kind of have to look at it and go, which one goes where? I think these could be interchangeable. So it has like a flat, a flat edge like that. Okay. And then these little guys, these little guys go right here. Um, right like that. Okay, we do need to still ink stuff. What I wanted to do was put them all together, make sure he looks good and he looks cute. He's adorable. He is so sweet. Um, you decided to step down from Scentsy, not doing well. Maybe being a chocolate George tonight when you're in the store. Yeah, you know, um, anything goes, right? <laughs> 2024 is a new year for us. And, you know, you do a lot with chocolate tour and you're really good with it. So maybe that's an idea. We can talk about that. That would be great. They do, they have a couple of options and the the less expensive option is the $9.99 one that you just pay the fee and then you're in. There's also one with the with the um, kit. I would wait till January 1st to see the new kit because I know that it's going to, they're gonna have one for sure. So let me see. He looks so cute guys, I love it. Okay, let's put some ink on him though. So let's do this. So the white and the red part, I'm going to use the white ink. Okay, so I've showed you, I get this little ink thing. It's um, it's called Bursa Magic. And uh, the reason I love this one is because it's spongy. Okay, there are some ink pads that are not spongy. So so we, we just put them together so that we can make sure everything look good. And now we're going to kind of take them apart and we're going to ink some areas on him. Okay, so... Isn't this so fun? Oh my gosh, he's adorable. So the red part up here, I want to put some white highlighting. So I'm just gonna take my white and go along the edge of that. And that's all I have to do with that. It doesn't need a lot, just a little bit right in there. Okay, and this is gonna be right up in there. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna do some highlights on here. And Okay, all around this, just very carefully. See, this little pad has a has kind of a pointy end and it makes it nice and easy to be able to go around that, okay? And then I'm gonna go along the edges of this. I'm also gonna put some, some um, highlighting. You know what, let me go in a little bit closer for you guys. Doesn't his face look a mess? <laughs> you look at it and go, is that really his face? Okay, so there's some lines there. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to just drag down, and then I'm going to go down to the bottom. And so you can kind of go sideways with this. That might be better. And you don't have to go all the way. So I'm just kind of going every other one. I'm putting like a little line in there. Um, you don't have to go the entire way. Just like that. Okay, so that's all the white. I don't need any more white. I want to have my brown now. Okay, so, and I think on the outside of this, I, well, maybe white would be good. Let's, let's see if it, I don't know if it'll even show. It might. Oh, it does show. So you might not be able to see it, but I can see that the outside is white. Um, oh yeah, you can see it. Okay, so I'm going to put quite a bit. I'm going to, I'm going to go in a little like a little bit. Okay, so I have my white there. Just know that doesn't dry really quick. It doesn't. So um, you'll probably end up with some white on your fingers. Now we're gonna use our ink pad, okay? So our our reg regular one that we always use. This is our brown one, and I'm gonna go along all my edges, and, <laughs> and I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get my brown ink all in there, okay? So... 
you guys, I have some projects coming up. I have some shock couture projects coming up. I have some more Valentine projects coming up. Um, you know, does somebody want to volunteer and do the mis send me a mystery box? We could do a mystery box like in two weeks. If somebody wants to be the first person to send me a mystery box of just just some items that you want me to create with. You can have anything in there. Anything goes, okay? I'm really pretty good about um, being quick on my feet as far as figuring out what to do. And also the fun thing to do with that is to have you guys help me and give me ideas. Like when I open it and I go, oh my gosh, what do I do with this? Um, does somebody want to volunteer and be the first person? Because I'll send you my address and just send a small box that has like five or six items in it um, to create with. And let's see. Okay, so I need to do a little highlight or a little thing right there. I think that's good. Um, I Anyone? Anyone? Um, if anybody wants to, you can also send me a message. And we can do more than one in a month. I'm going to kind of just put a little bit here and there. Okay, I'm going to start gluing together. Oh, no, we're going to do around this really quick. And then we're going to glue together. I think this is going to be adorable. You, Christy, that would be awesome. Thank you, Christy. I'll send you my address. That would be so much fun. I think we should get started with it. I, I, I don't want to just talk about it and never do it. You know, I mean, talk is cheap. <laughs> right? Right? Hi, Laura. How are you, Miss Laura? Good morning. So, I know. I love this, too. Um, Let's see. Oh, Laura, Laura says, it's been rough if you don't have a big fan base that wants to purchase this stuff. To keep. Oh, yeah. I totally understand. And um, sensing is one of those things that it's hard sometimes to um, to get in to it um, as far as I can't have at my craft shows. So, I, I am severely allergic to a lot of the scents that Sensi has. Okay, so I I had a real, I'm going to stand up to do this. I had a really bad reaction um, because at one craft show, she had like four or five burners going and she wasn't supposed to have any going because our person that was in charge of the show told her we have people with severe allergies. Um, they can open up the thing and just smell it. I don't want you burning, having them going. And she didn't listen. I think she thought that, she, that we wouldn't notice. There were, there were three of us that had such severe reactions that we completely lost our voices. Uh, for me, my throat immediately swelled and I had to leave. <laughs> and, and even the next day I had issues, but um, I just, I'm allergic to it. I, I love, I love the smell. Um, but I can't have it. I can't have it at my craft show. I have people ask me all the time. I'm a, I'm a sensi person. Um, can I do your craft show? No. And I'm really careful about people doing it with candles too. I have, I have, um, two people that do it that have candles. One has, has just a few candles and the other person, he has a lot, but he has to keep the lids on them. <laughs> I'm like, you can't keep the lid, you can't have the lids off because, of me when when it when they're doing my show I can't control other shows I'm doing when when I do a show um that someone else is in charge of I just have to ask can you please put me away from anything that has a scent because I do have a reaction um and it's not just that it is um the, the what is the little oh gosh um potpourri you know how they sell the potpourri by the pound um, that stuff kills me unless it's a really good stuff. So, so that, I know it's hard. It's hard for people. People have told me that, that they have a, a difficult time with, um, with selling Scentsy in places. I, I've seen people at farmer's market before that did really well, that consistently did it. You know, they're always there. So yeah, I totally understand. Okay, so let's get our snowflakes on and then we'll do all of the words. Isn't he just so cute? He is adorable, guys. I love this little, you know, but I but I love Highland Cows. <laughs> They're one of my favorite things. These little guys are one of my favorite things. So there we go. There's that. All right. Here is my snowflake. All right. 
So I still have a bunch of Chalk Couture um, transfers that I have not shown you guys yet that are from the new collection. And we have that little block. Remember the little block that they, that they came out with? Um, that has a lot of possibilities. So that could be something that could be like um, a changeable surface. I love to do things that are, that are um, changeable so that you can use the surface again and again and again. Okay, I'm kind of thinking that I can be careful. <laughs> you think I can be careful? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to be careful and just plop these on here. You know. All right. Okay. There we go. Okay. Snow place like home. And then it just has a jute hanger. No bow. Okay. He doesn't need a bow at the top. Some people might want to put one and you are fine. If you are, if you're a bow person, go right ahead. Um, I think it takes away from him. I don't think it needs a bow. <laughs> but there are some people that are like, they, they want a bow on everything, and that's okay. You know, if you're that person, go for it. Go for it. My customers are not that person. I would like to have a whole bunch of these. I, I need to do these for next year for my Christmas shows. It's too late for me here. By the time that I do a craft show, my first craft show that I'll be at, because I miss I miss a craft show when I'm gone to Jamaica. Um, my first craft show will be like the middle of March. And then the next craft show will be the one that I'm in charge of. So in March. So yeah, so I don't have any early ones. But I want to share with you guys. <laughs> I love making stuff for you guys. Okay, no place like the farm. Snow place like the farm. <laughs> oh, you know, I just need a little farm with a bunch of these little critters. My, um, my daughter-in-law, Tara, her friend has a little Highland cow. Um, they live in another state. And I'm like, no, that isn't fair. I need one. I need one of these little guys. All right. Okay. Let me make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. I'm going to take my little stylus. I'm going to get some of this glue out, um, despite it being clear. If there's a big glob of it there, I will grab it out of there. I just stick it on my hand. <laughs> and then I can just kind of, um, I just rub my fingers together and it's gone magically. Okay. Here's our jute. All right, you made it to your tray with a Highland cow. You showed your granddaughter. Oh, that's fun. She's taking it to work for her desk. How fun is that? Oh, yes, Laura, you need your bows. <laughs> Absolutely. I, th I was thinking of you. Um, you know, I, I just am not a bow person, and my customers aren't either. Okay, so here's the holes. The holes are kind of in an odd place. That's just where they were, and I didn't change it. So I'm going to take my jute, and I'm going to put just tie <laughs> a little knot right here. He's just so cute. I just love him. He turned out good. And that wasn't difficult. You saw how I just, I just did downward strokes and I just used a tiny brush. It's just a tiny little liner brush. Okay. So the smallest one they have, and this is the cheap brushes. That's just the little cheap brushes from um, Walmart. Okay. Tie the knot right in there. Okay. So tight, really tight. <laughs> and actually it's like right to the end that's okay that's okay um I'll, maybe I'll try to do that on the other side too it might come off I'm I'm pulling you know what guys it's too close to the end let's try again I need to have like a little bit of the jute so that it, I don't want it to plop off of there okay so I want it to be at the end let's just do this and let's cut, let's cut it down a little bit all right, there we go. Perfect. Perfect, guys. What time is it? 7.38. Still good. I have to log in for work at 8 o'clock. <laughs> okay, I'm going to thread it through so it goes to the back, and that little knot is just right there, okay? And then it's going to come up the other side, and you'll tie another knot. You don't want this part to be very long, okay? So what you do is you pull that through, and then go like this and just say, okay, that's about right. I like it to hang about right there. And then you're going to tie your knot so that it is right there at that hole, okay? And I'm just going to pull it really tight, okay? And then I'll just cut it and I'll have just a little bit of a tail. And then there you go. There's your sign, guys. 
there is our little sign and he is adorable and just push it down if you feel like he's coming off of there you can lay you can lay stuff on top of it sometimes when you paint wood it bows a little bit <laughs> you think speckle would look good on the background oh yeah definitely um like a darker blue absolutely yeah um background is spa blue you could speckle it for sure you could do you could do white um you could do black I, i'm looking at my sample they didn't do anything but you definitely could you definitely could do speckles you could do black and white on the whole thing i'm totally up to you i'm going to leave them just like that though i think it's adorable so um, you can, but guys, you are the artists. When you create, you get to make those choices. You get to decide what you're going to do. Let me move this over. I'm going to put it up to myself. And, and here we are. Here's a little guy. He can sit on one of the little stands. He can go on the wall. He could go right up here on the wall, right where this is. I think he should go right here. I think he should be right there when he's dry. How about that? <laughs> or right here so you guys can see him all the time <laughs> all right guys thanks for being here i appreciate it we'll have some other fun stuff tomorrow we'll probably do uh we'll probably do some talking for tomorrow um i'm gonna pre-record it like i said i'll be at the airport i'll be flying out i fly out at 6 30 so i'll be on the plane when i'm supposed to be starting this so i'll have it pre-recorded ready to go Hopefully, as long as as long as Facebook cooperates, if not, then I'm just going to be going live and saying, hey, guys. <laughs> All right. Well, have a wonderful day. It is Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Yay. <laughs> I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Bye.